In this video, we're gonna be wiring this hallway. You see here, we're gonna be doing the lighting and outlets. And if you're new to this channel, my name is Josh. This channel is all about building your house, saving tons of money. So be sure to subscribe, ring that bell so you get a notification every time I release a new video, and hammer that like button for me. That's all I ask in return for making this video. So I wanna to go to the whiteboard first because there's some rules you gotta go by when wiring your hallway. Let's get started. Before we begin, I wanted to let you know I am not a professional electrician. I am a guy who has built four houses on my own and I have wired every one of them and they all have passed inspection. So the rules I'm gonna tell you here involve a little bit of code and some just general rules of thumb. All right, so this is hallway wiring 101. Professional, isn't it? Um, so the first rule to go by is when you have a 10 foot long hallway, what the inspectors here want me to do is they want me to put an outlet in that hallway. So if you have a five foot long hallway, you do not need an outlet in the area I live in. Check your local building codes to see what you need to do. So rule number two is if there's a bedroom entering the hallway, it needs to have a smoke detector. And in my area, I gotta have smoke detectors in the hallways that have the bedrooms going into that hallway and also the bedroom itself, there has to be a smoke detector in it. So be sure to check your local building codes when it comes to all those type of things because smoke detectors are very important now that we're on that subject. All right, and the third thing with hallways is nine times out of 10, they're gonna be on a three-way switch. What a three-way switch is, you're gonna have two switches that operate the lights up above. So you can go to one location, hit the switch, turn them on, go to another location and hit a switch to turn them off and vice versa. And that just makes it convenient. So if you shut the light on, or if you turn the light on, when you first enter the hallway, walk to a bedroom and have a switch beside the bedroom door, you can kick it off. So that way you don't have to walk clear to the other side of the hallway to turn that light off, which defeats the purpose of having lights in your hallway, really. And uh, so that's just something you need to bear in mind that you need to know how to wire a three-way switch. And I'm going to draw you a diagram after we're done here to show you how to wire a three-way switch. And four, recess lights every four and a half foot. So a good rule of thumb with recess lighting, if you have not seen my recess lighting video, I'll put a link up here above, go check it out. It uh, pretty much tells you that, um, well, it tells you more than just this, but this is just one of the things in the video. But if your ceiling height is, let's say eight foot, you divide it by two and your recess light should be every four foot apart. And in this house I'm building, it is a nine foot tall ceiling. So we divide nine foot in two and that gives us four and a half foot and we want our recess lights to be every four and a half foot or closer. So that's just a good rule of thumb too. There's no code that I know of that you gotta follow for that. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to wire a three-way switch on the whiteboard. And then we'll go ahead and start installing all these lights and outlets. This is the wiring diagram I use when I rough wire my three-way switches. So what you have here, you're gonna have power coming into one switch box here. And as you can see, we need to go to a three-way switch. So you don't get a little single pole switch when you do your final wiring. You actually gotta buy a special switch called a three-way switch. And so you got either 14-2 or 12-2 wire coming in to power this switch box. And then you run a 12-3 or 14-3 wire to another switch box that you want the other switch to operate the same light on. And then from that switch box, you gotta go up to your light using 12-2 or 14-2 wire, and this is the same thing. You need to have a actual three-way switch, not a single pole switch. So long story short, power comes in, goes your three-way switch, and then this is your traveler cable or wire that goes over to this three-way switch, and then this is going to power the light. So whether you hit it here or hit it here, it's gonna turn this light off or on. So if you use a, if you want a 20 amp circuit, you need to use 12-2 wire. If you want a 15 amp circuit, you need to use 14-2 wire and 14-3 and 12 uh, and 14-3 wire. So that all depends on how you're wiring your house or what you have to do in your jurisdiction for your building code. So that's totally up to you. But that's just the rough diagram on how you wire a three-way switch. The final wiring to the actual switches, I'll show you that in another video. Let's go ahead and get to installing some recessed lights and outlets. That's one thing I love about these particular halo recessed lights is they're on a track after you nail them on the ceiling joist so you can slide them directly in the center. 
Here are the recessed lights spaced out across this hallway. And if you're wondering how I got the distances, and if you remember the rule I just mentioned, we need to space them about four and a half foot. So I measured from this wall over to this wall, which is the length of the hallway. And I realized I'll need about four after just judging by eye. So I just divided 260, because that's the length of the hallway. 260 inches divided by five gave me 52 inches, which ends up being about four foot four between lights. And that gives you good coverage for lighting on the hallway. I apologize if you hear background noise. The excavators are out there leveling off the lot. So sorry about that. But as you can see, I got an outlet in the other bedroom and I'm gonna use it to power my hallway outlet. So what I'm gonna do here is measure up 18 inches. And I usually put my outlet 18 inches to the top of the outlet box. So this is just a single gang 18 cubic inch outlet box and I just hammer the nails in on the sides to anchor it and on the sides of the box there's little flanges that butt up to the 2x4 stud that gaps it out from the stud half inch so that lets drywall go around it and gives you a flush look all right guys so I got the recessed lights anchored and the outlet anchored now I just gotta wire them up I measured up off the floor 24 inches when I ran the wire and I drilled the holes out using a 3 8 drill bit. When you secure these outlets, be sure to stay within 6 inches from the outlet box and always roll the wires back into the box so when the drywall is installed, these are not in the way. And these are the flanges over here I was telling you about that keeps it spaced properly away from the stud for the drywall. Now I'm going to explain the switches that's going to power all the recessed lighting for this hallway. So the power is going to be coming into this four gang switch box, okay? And then after the power comes here, I got to run a three wire, and it's 12-3 in this case, from this switch over to this switch. This is going to be the other switch that's going to operate the hallway lights. And then there's going to be a two wire, which is going to be a 12-2 in this case, going from this switch up to this first recess light. And then it's going to power all the rest of the lights going in a daisy chain from light to light. Whenever I have a wire running up the side of a stud, I nail it every four foot apart per code in my area. So what I'm gonna do here is this three wire, I'm gonna write three way switch on it. And that's pretty obvious if there's a three wire in here, but just for appreciation for a later time, it's good to have it on there. And then this one, we're just gonna put hall lights. And that way, when we go to put the switch on, we know exactly where what is going. Here where this other switch is going to be, I'm just going to label this the three-way hall lights. The reason why I labeled this three-way hall light instead of just three-way switch is because I'm going to have more three-way switches over here. So there's going to be more 12-3 wire coming into this box. So you need to label it so you know where each wire is going. And now with that being said, you need to make sure to staple these within six inches of this switch box. But I have the power coming in here yet. And I got, like I said, more wires coming in for these other switches. So that's all there is to this switch for, for now. And then we just roll this up, put in the box after we get them all in here. If you check out the video link above, I have an old video that I made a long time ago of me installing three-way switches. And that all, that's all there is to the three-way switch rough wiring. I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of the hallway to let you know what I just did. So I got a box here to where my power is going to be coming into. And then this three wire runs up and then over and to this switch here, which you've seen me wire this earlier. And then from here, it's going to go up to the recessed lighting that lights up the hallway. And then it daisy chains and then it gets to this light 
and then we have one going over here to power that light and then it's going to continue over here to this light and that's all there is for the lighting and also put this box here it's going to be for the smoke detector it just gets 12 3 wire because all the smoke detectors need wired together per code and then i got my outlet in the hallway right here that was hopped off this bedroom here and that's all there is to wiring a hallway be sure to check out the link in the description below to my amazon store there you'll find the supplies that were used to wire this hallway and again be sure to subscribe if you want to get more videos on diy and how to build your own house and my name's josh smash that like button and i'll see you in the next video have a good one